Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal in this channel, man. You know the deal in this channel, right? It's all about the truth. It's all about the facts. It's all about respect, integrity, right? And being humble. And in this video, we're going to speak about this era of NBA players, right? This era, this generation. I'm talking about from 2010 to the current. This era. Right? The post Kobe Bryant era, the post Tim Duncan era, Kevin Garnett, the true last warriors of the NBA. This current generation. We're going to talk about my problem with this era. Right? I'm going to do a brief video on this, guys. And I want to thank you guys for all your love. Everybody across the world, man. Everybody across the states that's been supporting my channel, man. My God, it's been very humbling for me, guys. It means a lot to me, man, because you guys understand what I'm doing here, what I'm saying. And you guys respect it, man. It resonates with you, what I'm saying. Right, it's all about the facts here. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. Get some water real quick, guys. You know I'll be yelling. You know I'll be yelling on here, man. The passion. So, yes, guys, in this video, I want to speak about my problem with this era. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Now, for the sake of this video, when I speak about this era, I'm speaking about 2010 to the current era, right? The 2010 to the 2020 and, and beyond, right? Where we are now. And when I say this era, like I said, I'm talking about the post Kobe Bryant era, the post Tim Duncan era, the post Kevin Garnett, right? Those guys, I know that they played in the 2010s. I get that. Right. But that was at the end of their career, the tail ends of their careers. When I talk about the era of 2010 to 2020 and beyond, I'm talking about LeBron James. I'm talking about Steph Curry. I'm talking about Kevin Durant. I'm talking about James Harden. I'm talking about this Draymond Green, you know, Russell West, like that generation, that era. That's what I'm talking about, guys. And my problem with these guys. Now. I'm not trying to tear anybody down. You guys know what I'm talking about on this channel. I try to put things in perspective, right? We try to set the record straight by telling the facts, right? And sometimes the facts do not put these guys, the current generation, in a good light. However, my big problem or one of my big problems with this era is that they're not humble. They are not humble, guys, right? And they have no honor. They have zero integrity. They have no class. Right, which is why what we do not respect a lot of these guys. We don't. I do not respect LeBron James. I told you it's not personal. I'm talking about the basketball players. I do not respect LeBron James, a basketball player, what he's done on the court, right? The way that he's carried himself, the things that he's done. I don't respect it, right? And we've talked about you guys know it. We've covered many things on this channel, right? James Harden, another guy. I do not respect James Harden. Is James Harden a respectable human being? Absolutely not. Right? I can clearly see James Harden's not a really good person. Once again, I'm not going to make this personal. But James Harden, the basketball player, he's got no class, no integrity. I do not respect that man. He's a clown to me. A straight clown. But when I say that these guys are not humble, even a Steph Curry, what I'm talking about is this need for this current era, right? This current generation to, con to constantly, right? Always try to inject themselves or pump themselves up, right? At the expense of the other eras. And what am I talking about? When we think about someone like a Steph Curry, for example, guys, Steph Curry recently said that he believes he's up there with Magic Johnson as the greatest point guard of all time. But it was the way that he said it. If you guys remember the way that he said it, he said something to the effect of, oh, oh who is it? It's, it's me and Magic? Is that the conversation? Like, it was almost like he was insulted that someone would even think that he wasn't the greatest point guard of all time. Right? That's not being humble. Because once again, Anyone with a brain, anyone who understands basketball, understands that Steph Curry's not even a top five point guard in NBA history. He's not, guys. When we talk about the point guard position, he's not a top five point guard. He's not even the, the top facilitator on his team. Isn't that Draymond Green? I'm always hearing Draymond Green is the playmaker for the Warriors, right? Steph Curry is not a point guard. Steph Curry is closer to a shooting guard, and we all know if we judged him as a shooting guard, he wouldn't sniff the top guys. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan? Really? Nowhere near those guys, right? And when we think about Steph Curry, the point guard, for him to say that, oh, oh who is it, uh, just it's me and Magic? 
You're nowhere close to Magic. And I did a video on this. Steph Curry is nowhere close to Magic Johnson. He's not. But it's not a conversation. And once again, this is not uh, disrespect or hate on Steph Curry. These are the facts of the matter. Right? This is what we watch them do. So for Steph Curry to say that, once again, not being humble. Because these guys believe that everything that they do now is the grace in history. Right? Because the media right, will pump these guys up. Everything that they do is the greatest in NBA's history, right? They call Steph Curry the greatest shooter of all time. I'm not buying that. Yes, Steph Curry might be the greatest three-point shooter of all time. I will go with that, absolutely. But the greatest just quote-unquote shooter? Absolutely not. not I'm not buying that. Because once again, I'll take Michael Jordan over Steph Curry for a last-second shot, right? But if Steph Curry was the greatest shooter of all time, wouldn't that make, make you want to pick him for any shot at any time? No, because Steph Curry is not clutch like that. He's not. As, as great as Steph Curry is, he's nowhere near the top most clutch players in NBA's history. He's not, guys. Right? Which is why he has four championships and he has one finals MVP. Right? Because other guys have stepped up, right, and helped him out immensely. Guys like Klay Thompson, guys like Draymond Green, guys like Kevin Durant, guys like Andre Iguodala, right? These guys have stepped up. He's been on great teams, right? And these guys have helped his deficiencies, right? His flaws. Yes, he's a great three-point shooter. Okay, the greatest three-point shooter of all time, but not the greatest shooter, guys. I'll take Larry Bird over him. I'll take Michael Jordan over him. I told you, I'll probably even take a Ray Allen over him for just shooting the basketball in clutch moments. Like, if I need one basket, Steph Curry's not top of my list, right? So they inflate him as the greatest shooter instead of saying the greatest three-point shooter in NBA's history. Once again, not being humble, Steph Curry, at all. No, no, no humility in these guys. No humility. We think about Draymond Green, right, not being humble. Draymond Green, who's not even a giant star. He's not even a star of this era. But he talks and runs his mouth as if he's a Hall of Famer, as if he's an MVP caliber player, as if he's the main reason why the Warriors are winning, right? He really believes that he's the engine of that team. Yes, you could argue maybe he was the heart and soul of the Warriors, but he's nowhere near their best player. Nowhere near that. And when we think about Draymond Green, the reason why I say he's not humble is because how many times have we heard Draymond Green say things like, I think I'm the greatest defensive player of all time. This man really, but I mean, like, come on, man. Like, really? In this weak defensive era, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Draymond Green believes he's the greatest defensive player of all time because of what? Because of a defensive player of the year award that he got in a weak defensive era? Really? This is what we're saying? Draymond Green? Who are the great defensive guys of this era? You're going to tell me Kawhi Leonard, who never plays? You're going to tell me Rudy Gobert? Jaron Jackson Jr.? Marcus Smart? These are the top defensive players of this era? I'm supposed to be impressed with this? This is supposed to show me that Draymond Green is the greatest defensive player of all time, a man who's won one defensive player of the year award in one of the weakest defensive eras in NBA's history. But he'll come on the microphone and say he's the greatest defensive player in NBA's history. And the sad reality is that you'll have NBA people, these kids, they'll come in and say, yo, he's just being confident, man. What's wrong with being confident? What? Listen, confidence and delusion are not the same thing. If Draymond Green says, I believe I'm one of the top defensive players of my era, or he believes I'm a top 10 defensive player of all time, that's closer to reality. Even though it's still delusional, he's not a top 10 defense player of all time. But that makes more sense. That gives you a little bit more humility. That makes you seem more humble and more in tune with reality and the history of the NBA. Then for you to say I'm the greatest defensive player of all time, like, give me a break, man. You're nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. You're telling me he's greater than Bill Russell or Hakeem Olajuwon or Michael Jordan or Scottie Pippen. He's not greater than Dennis, uh, than David Robinson or Dennis Rodman. He's not greater than those guys. He's not above some of the other guys that people don't even really mention. It's insane to me, man, for him to say that once again, not being humble. These guys are not humble in this era. It's terrible. It's disgusting, man. I'm the greatest defensive player of all time. Get out of here, man. Nonsense. James Harden, another clown, has no humility. He's not humble. James Harden's all about the money. He's all about himself, right? He does not have any respect for the game, no respect for the fans. 
He's a straight clown, James Harden. Zero respect for that man. If you really want to call him a man, he's not really a man because men have principles, right? Right? Grown men have principles, right? They have integrity. They have honor, right? You have things that you stand on. James Harden ain't got no principles. He don't stand on nothing. He stands for nothing, which is why we don't respect that man. He's a clown show. Tearing down franchises. Not a winner. He's a choker. But James Harden, he will tout himself as the greatest scorer of all time. Right? He'll say things like this. I'm the most lethal scorer of all time. He thinks he's his great playmaker. He's not. Once again, not being humble, not being in touch with reality or the history of the NBA. You're nowhere near one of the top playmakers in NBA's history. He's not. He is not. In this no, how many times they call travel on James Harden? These guys have no officiating anymore. There's no standard. They don't call travel on these guys. This guy's carrying the ball every time he dribbles. No calls are made. He's flopping all over the court for foul calls. We don't respect that game. James Harden, he's not an all-time great. Kevin Durant? Do we respect Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant, the same guy who said, y'all know my name. I'm Kevin Durant. Y'all know my name. Like, really, do We know your name? Not a clown. You're soft, Kevin Durant. You're a soft front runner. Kevin Durant was one of the greatest front runners in NBA's history. He's a greater front runner than LeBron James. Right? The weak move that he made to go to the Warriors. We do not respect this man. Then he bounces to Brooklyn. Think we think he's gonna leave the Brooklyn Nets to do anything. He does nothing. He bounces around to the Phoenix Suns now. He can't even carry these guys. They're already losing games, blowing leads. Kevin Durant turned into a turnover machine. Where was Kevin Durant against the Boston Celtics that year when he was on the Nets? But he got swept out of there. The man was averaging, what, six, seven turnovers a game? Getting handcuffed by guys like Marcus Smart? But we're supposed to believe Kevin Durant, the one of the most skilled players in NBA's history. How can you stop him? He's six foot 11 with a seven foot six wingspan and all this nonsense. He wants skills. He can't dribble. They would rip this man every night in the 80s and the 90s. They would full court press this man, half court trap him. He would not be able to get the ball off the court, man. With that frail body. They would pummel that dude, man. But once again, they say he's skilled. He's skilled because he's six foot eleven and they think he can jump between the legs. Once again, in this weak defensive era. The man's got two championships, piggybacking off another star, Steph Curry. We don't respect Kevin Durant. Right? But Kevin Durant thinks he's an all-time great. He really believes he's a top ten player in NBA's history. He really believes that. I'm not buying that. Kevin Durant's nowhere near top 10. Nowhere near it, man. Get out of here. How about Ben Simmons? Is Ben Simmons a respectable player? Is he humble? The guy who just wanted money. He didn't want to practice. He didn't want to work on his game. He's taking a page from LeBron James. Just own out there for the money. Right? Not working on his game. Think he's just going to get by off his athleticism. You ain't that dude, man. Do we respect Ben Simmons, man? Is he really a humble guy? Like the man didn't we want to fulfill his contract? He using mental illness as an excuse. These guys are clowns, man. Any excuse. Remember, I tell you guys, if you're looking for an excuse, you will find it. There's always one there. And the guys of this generation, they always have an excuse. They're not humble. They always feel the need to pump themselves up, right? And they'll say that we're hating on them. When we're telling the facts and the truth and we hold these guys to a standard. They don't even hold themselves to a standard. They don't hold each other to a standard. So guys will say crazy stuff and no one calls them out. All the time these guys are saying crazy reckless things to demean and diminish the past errors. Right? Because they really believe that everyone who played in this era is the greatest of all time. But I got some reality for you guys, man. Right? I want you guys to listen to this and understand. There is not one player of this era not one player, guys. Not LeBron James. Not Kevin Durant. Not Steph Curry. Not James Harden. Not Russell Westbrook. None of these guys are a top 10 player in NBA's history. None of them. None of them are. That's this era, guys. And that's the truth and the facts of the matter. As great as these guys believe they are, and as great as their fans believe they are, none of these guys are top 10 players in NBA's history. They're not. They're not in that conversation, man. 
And why is that? Because they didn't carry themselves with any humility, right? They didn't carry themselves with class, with integrity. They didn't respect the game, a lot of these guys. Right? I'm not putting them all in that category, right? But what I'm talking about with some of these guys, you understand that they didn't respect the game. James Harden, LeBron James, Ben Simmons, Draymond Green don't respect the game. The way that he bashes the past errors, that's not respecting the game, man. Are these guys humble? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, they're not humble. There's no humility. My goodness, Steph Curry. Like, dude, oh, who's it? Me and Magic, that's the conversation? Like, really, man? No, it's not you and Magic Johnson. You're nowhere near a top five point guard in NBA's history. Once again, this is a, a point guard play. Steph Curry's not a great point guard. He's not. I'll take Jason Kidd over him at the point guard position. I'll take Oscar Robertson over him, Isaiah Thomas over him, obviously Magic Johnson over him. I'll take Bob Cousy over him at the point guard position, John Stockton over him. I mean, my goodness, guys. Once again, this is not any, any shade or hate on Steph Curry. What we're trying to do is highlight the other great players in NBA's history, man. There have been many great point guards, point guards, guys who ran a point guard position. My goodness, man. No humility from the guys of the current generation, man. It's really sad. It really is. I never remember hearing Tim Duncan talk about, I'm the greatest power forward of all time. It's not even close. Who's in the conversation? Carl Malone? Charles Barkley? Bob Pettit? Who's in the conversation? It's me. I never heard him say that. I never heard Michael Jordan say, oh, I'm the greatest of all time. Who's in that conversation? I'm the greatest shooting guard. Who's in that conversation? Jerry West? Kobe Bryant? Dwayne Wade? They know guys ain't close to me, man. I'm Michael Jordan. I ain't never heard these guys say that stuff, man. Never heard any this stuff, man. But these guys today, they're the greatest of all time. Everything they do is the greatest of all time. Even with Jokic, man, and I like Jokic, man, and it's not about him. It's about how they're promoting him, right? It's about the media, guys. The media will pump these guys up, and they'll praise them and automatically ascend them to the top of all time. Right? And that's what we get mad about. There's never any conversations or debates with any of these guys. All of a sudden, LeBron James is the second greatest player of all time. How did that happen? We didn't say that. I told you, we the people decide who's in these conversations and who is not. We decide this. And we never decided LeBron James was right behind Michael Jordan. And now, it's at the point now where if you don't have LeBron James, number one or two, you're hating. That's how far we've gotten now with the mainstream media. People really believe if LeBron James is not one or two, it's hate. I don't even got him in my top 10. So I can imagine what people must think about my channel and how I feel. But the more and more that I see, the more and more I listen, right? The more and more that I understand, I'm right on the money. I'm right on the money, right? People are starting to come to me. They're starting to be like, you know what? This guy's actually right. Right? I told you, the more you dig, right, the more it exposes a lot of these guys. Once again, I don't hate on this era of basketball players. They're all great players playing in the NBA. I still watch the NBA. But for me, I do not appreciate the media always bashing the past errors to lift these guys up. And at the same time, these guys are doing the same things. They're lifting themselves up, injecting themselves into the grace of all time at whatever position or whatever aspect of basketball, right? Didn't Andre Drummond say something he's the greatest rebounder of all? I mean, listen, see what I'm saying? Like, Andre Drummond, really, you're the greatest rebounder of all time? Like, what would make him believe that? Is he a solid rebounder? Yeah, he's a solid rebounder. But the grace of all time in an era with no legit big men? Who the great rebounds in Andre Drummond's era? I would have loved to see Andre Drummond go against Dennis Rodman or David Robinson or Patrick Ewing or Hakeem Olajuwon or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Moses Malone. Any of these guys. A Tim Duncan. Right? A, a peak Tim Duncan. A peak Ben Wallace. A peak Kevin Garnett. Any of these guys, man, who is Andre Drummond competing against for rebounds? He's done a greater rebound than the greatest rebound in NBA history, man. Come on, man. Just say, yo, 
I think I'm one of the great rebounders. And leave it at that, man. Leave it at that. They can't do that, though. I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I'm the gre That's all these guys say is I'm the greatest. You guys know the deal, man. We don't, we don't respect this stuff. And we don't appreciate this nonsense, man. That's my problem. Uh, uh, one of my main problems with this era. There's no humility, man. These guys are not humble, man. My goodness. You don't have to say you're the greatest of all time at anything. You don't have to say you're the greatest. Any Let us do this. Let the people talk about you. Let the people pump you up. The people, not the mainstream media with their lies. Let us appreciate you guys. Don't tell us you're the grace at this, you're the grace at that, because you're not. You're one of the greatest. You're not the greatest. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.